CSI 2140 root mod. Plot data, review data. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and in this video tutorial I will show you the functionalities inside of plot data or review data or in the root mode. What you are seeing now here is the home screen of the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer and to start the root mode go to F8 root and now you see the home screen of the root mode. If you want to review data, normally you go to F5 plot data. As we are speaking now, this functionality is grayed out simply because the measurement point is not yet collected. This will become active as soon as there is data collected. And then we will explain the plot data module. But before we explain the plot data module, we're going to measure data on two different kind of configurations. This measurement point is a grouped point, so in, in fact two measurement points will be measured simultaneously. With the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer, up to four channels can be measured simultaneously. If you review data that is measured simultaneously from several points, they are a, there is one option different inside the plot data module versus a single measurement point. For that reason, we will start now with first collecting data on a coupled point and on a non-coupled point. Like you're seeing here. And then we can show the functionality in the plot data module. So we start a motor and we measure the data first in a coupled point and then we go to the non-coupled point and now we can review the data so if we go to plot data in a coupled point he's showing you immediately for the two measurement points the spectra and the waveform so you see a kind of a quad plot if you go to switch plot type and only this function F6 switch plot type the functionality here is different for coupled points versus non-coupled points if you go to switch plot type here F6 first of all you can change a the format there are two formats available what you saw before is a quad plot when you change it to stacked plot the data is presented like this the second thing that you can change here is that you see we have four plots active at the moment. Switch plot type. You can disable certain plots or you can even choose which plot you want to see here. For example, set plot type 4. I dis deactivate the option. I do the same for set plot type 3. The same for 2 and in one I have spectrum of motor outboard vertical so now I will have only this plot if you want to have the waveform of this for example full screen go to switch plot type set plot 1 and select the waveform so when we compare it with the other configuration of measurement point so this is a non-coupled point here I go to plot data I see immediately spectrum and waveform however when I go to the switch plot type there will not be the screen like before but you will toggle immediately between single spectrum single waveform or the dual plot now let's explain the function keys that you have here and here and be careful there is an alt one here that means there is also a second page so we have to explain two pages here we will start with alt 1 with f1 frequency list here you see the fault frequencies as they are configured in the software 
So, for example, if you want to see the outer race frequency of the outboard bearing with entry here toggled to the outboard bearing, here at the bottom you see inside the outboard bearing you see the fault frequencies for the cage, the roll elements, the outer race and the inner race. So select the inner race by those two functions here. And now select F5, enter, and now the outer race fault frequencies for this bearing are displayed on the screen. With previous fault frequencies or next fault frequencies, you can toggle over all the fault frequencies in a cycle. Next functionality is full screen F4. If you push full screen, you see the spectrum at full screen on the data collector. Push F4 again to have the function keys back. Cursor mark. Before I can explain the cursor mark, I will first explain expand or compress. Expand is a zoom of this shaft, compress is the opposite of zoom. If there is no cursor installed and you click expand axis, it will make a zoom around the first part. If you push again expand axis, he will do it a second time. If you have a cursor installed somewhere, like you're seeing now on the screen, and if you make a zoom, and expand axis, he will make the zoom around the cursor position. With compress, you're doing the opposite. And now I can explain cursor mark. First, I put the cursor on the top of the peak. And when you expand now a lot, at a certain moment in time, you will see the resolution lines. Now, if you see the digital resolution lines, you can imagine that in reality the peak is not here, but if the signal was analog, the real peak would be here, for example. If you do cursor mark, he will use best fit curves to recalculate the analog peak based on the digital information from the resolution lines. So when I click cursor mark, you will see that the frequency and the amplitude will be slightly recalculated to fit better the analog signal. Switch plot type is explained, so there is only one remaining function here, print plot. As soon as you click here, he will send this plot here, including labels, fault lines and everything that is on the plot as a JPEG or a bitmap to your computer. Let's go to Alt 2. Auto set RPM. If you want, you can use a cursor location to reposition your speed. So set RPM. Now the cursor location is considered as the speed of the machine. List peak, he will show you the 24 highest peaks in the spectrum as a peak list. Cursor type. There are several cursors available and if you want to toggle between the different cursors you have to push F2 cursor type several times. So when you click once cursor type you have a normal cursor. When you click twice cursor type you have harmonic cursors. If you push three times cursor type You have moving harmonics, so now with your arrows you can move your harmonic cursors. If you toggle once more cursor type, you also have sideband cursors, as you're seeing now. Or when you toggle once more, you have also harmonic families. Now this function key is changed to next family. Now the software will calculate for you where the harmonic and sideband families are in the spectrum. 
now every time when you push next family he will go over all the families that he find in the spectrum in this case there is only one family so he's not able to find anything more cursor type once more you also have difference family these are sideband families and also here next family he will toggle between all the sideband families that he find in the spectrum cursor home or cursor end will bring your cursor to the beginning but first i'm gonna activate the normal cursor again so cursor home will bring your cursor at zero cursor end will bring your cursor at the end of the plot clear cursor will remove the cursor of the plot cursor mark is explained before x-axis unit f5 now you can toggle between having the horizontal shaft in hertz cpm or orders expand or compress is explained before and set axis scale f6 here you can change the settings manually if you want there is one more thing to explain but let's go for that to a coupled point so now you have the four plots here there is a red box your cursors and your fault lines and many functions will only work on a plot that is inside the red box to move the red box simply use a touch screen or alternatively change active plot f5 will move the active plot we are now at the end of this video tutorial please visit our website at www.assetweb.com mhm for other video tutorials and product information my name is johan van pijnbroek thank you for watching this video tutorial